Nothing says money and happiness like toys. So today we're going to be talking about 10 small toys you can flip on eBay for a great profit. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to be looking at 10 small toys that you can pick up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, Goodwill, that you can flip on eBay to make a profit. Now, people buy toys used for many, many different reasons, and some of them might be that they are trying to buy back their childhood, those happy memories that they had growing up, or others might be like me who are buying up toys that they weren't allowed to have when they were younger and they want a little bit, little bit of that happiness that they imagined they missed out on when they were growing up. So whatever the reason, people enjoy buying used toys and let's take a look at 10 of the small toys that you can find to flip on eBay for a good profit. Now I've already got a list compiled and going for a part two. I only wanted to do about 10 because it can get overwhelming. There are quite a few toys out there, specifically small toys, that you can find to flip. And if you see something that you want added to the list for the next video or you think I missed something, then definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what you think should be added to the list. I'm also curious to know what toy your parents wouldn't let you have. I was not allowed to have loud toys, so I always wanted the game Operation as a child, and I finally got it when I turned 18. So let me know what toy your parents wouldn't let you have or that you wished you had when you were growing up. Let's get started on these 10 toys. So the first thing I wanted to talk about are action figures. These could be vintage or some of them are more contemporary, but three of the ones that I wanted to focus on today that I have seen that do pretty well are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's take a look at those. We're going to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batman, and Star Wars. So when you're out this weekend at the thrift store or you're at garage sales and estate sales and you're just looking through, these are three that you can kind of focus in on because there can be a lot when you start looking and you're not quite sure what to look for. So I have um, done an eBay search for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's the TMNT action figures, and I've uh, selected it down by over $35 used and sold listings. So these are the ones I'm looking at, and I have been on a few of them selecting, okay, I did select used, good, um, because there's sometimes a lot will show up in the search that are still new in package, but most likely you're going to find them used. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one, you might recognize them as being these, you know, turtles, obviously, um, but some of the older ones, I'm going to zoom in on this guy, some of the older ones are more like this, they're more chunky, I don't know how to describe that, and then they're a bit of a darker green color, some of the newer ones are not quite as dark green, they, they look a little more, uh, less refined, I should say, than the newer toys, so... And then some of their figures are these weird looking characters, like this is, uh, what is this guy's name, Krang. So um, not just the actual turtles will sell, but sometimes the there are other characters that will sell as well. So this guy sold for $65. And some of the vehicles, I don't see these very often, honestly, some of the um, vehicles. But if I did, I would buy them up. Um, but here you can see there's some of the other characters, like the the bad guys. You know, there's like a, I thought the rat was their dojo master. Maybe that's somebody else. Anyway, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the chat, like, no, Margaret, you need to know your characters better. I don't need to know the characters, and neither do you. If you're not hardcore into this, just recognize Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, could, be, could be good enough. Um, I do want to go back just to show you kind of like, who doesn't sell. So I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to click off or maybe let's click instead of doing price 35 and um, up, we'll just take that, that out. So we can see kind of all the price ranges because there are some smaller things that maybe don't sell for as much. But still, if I'm at a garage sale and I see some of these accessories for a dollar, 50 cents, then 11.50 is okay by me. I'm totally okay with that price range. Like this guy, this is like something, uh, it, to me it looks like something out of a crane game machine. It might not go for as much, see, so th there's that. Um, and then, well, there's some little cars. Again, you have to decide what your strategy is as far as pricing. I mean, I know some people say, you know, $15 is not worth mentioning, but to me, you one, you've got to know the price going in if you're 
picking something up for 15, 50 cents, or if you're looking for things that only sell for the higher price range, then definitely kind of hone in on that. This bulldog unit apparently sells a lot of these in for cheap, um, but as I scroll through, I see more and more that are higher ranged items. Okay, so let's move on to Batman. And let's take a peek at my search up here. Sorry for the fast scrolling. Uh, so I have two filters applied, used and sold. So I haven't uh, narrowed these down by uh, price range. But what I'm seeing is that a lot of these Batman action figures uh, sell pretty well. So this one I think is the Michael Keaton one, the Michael Keaton Batman. This one wasn't doing so well, so like the pop figure the, didn't do so great. But more of these like ripped Batman, you know, action figures look like they're doing a little bit better. So there's Batman and Superman. But here's another one. He's got some picture. I don't are these like interchangeable faces or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm noticing that the Batman that is more ripped. Um, as opposed to the cutesy Batman. But then I've, I've sold in the past like one of those Batman that you, it's like a flinger, you know what I mean? I can't remember what I sold it for, but it's been a while. Um, so here's like more of a really vintage Batman when he's kind of got the blue and the gray outfit. So Batman is still a hot commodity. And like here is this uh, Imaginex one that's like the chunky, like for littler kids. That one doesn't seem to be doing as well either. So just looking for more adult looking action figures, I guess, or bigger kid type action figures with the with the abs. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, and I don't know a whole lot of his, like, other than the enemies that are the general like Joker and things like that. I don't know some of these other ones. Okay, and then the third one I wanted to talk to you about was Star Wars. And I know I got that big lot of Star Wars stuff. Let me zoom back to the top real fast. Uh, but I have found, like, solo, oh, no pun intended, um, action figures, you know, like R2-D2, C-3PO, just kind of in a, you know, box at a garage sale. And those will sell as well. So, again, my filters I have on this search are used and sold. So, if you find pretty much anything that looks like a Star Wars action figure. Just pick it up, flip it over, and if it's cheap, when, and when I say flip it over, I mean to look at the date. You might need to get your phone and zoom in to see the date um, on them because they can be really tiny. But uh, zoom in on those, take a look at the dates, and they can um, sell for pretty good money. And I I find these, so they're not you know super hard to find. I really hit the mother load with that one lot, but I have found them floating around, you know, just in a box of other toys. You know, if you're, if you like digging through boxes like I do, then, then they're out there. Okay. So there are these ones. And again, some of them are just like little accessories, but you might have to know what you're looking for. If you're just kind of like, I just need to get something in the back of my head. So I know these guys, the uh, battle droids are kind of a dime a dozen, but I mean, shoot, eight bucks. Look at that. 855 shipping. Where are you coming from? Wow. Um, anyway, if you find them for a quarter, you know, then to me, that's a $5 profit. That's not bad. Okay, so that's number one, vintage action figures. And for today, I was just focusing on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batman, and Star Wars. Okay, so let me know down in the comments if you have picked up any Star Wars, Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or if you have any tips for how to narrow that search down, because this is just sort of a general precursory uh, search. All right, so second, our Littlest Pet Shop. And for a while there, I thought that maybe these had petered out, but there are still Littlest Pet Shop that sell, and they're not all the same. So if you see a bunch of Littlest Pet Shop, just don't think, oh my gosh, I hit the mother load. There are certain ones that sell better than others, but hey, if you get, you know, somebody's got a gallon bag and they're saying five bucks for this gallon bag, it might be worth picking it up and digging through to see. Um, I... My, I don't think I have a video, but I think it was, um, I'll link it. Uh, there are videos out there that, I think it was Orange Elephant that did the video that really breaks down what to look for with Littlest Pet Shop. And it has to do with the, the type of animal and their eyes. Because some of them, like as you see here, have little circle dot eyes in the, the white part right there. But other ones have got like stars or moons or things like that. 
to really look for. So my general go-to, because I am not 100% an expert on Littlest Pet Shop, is that I really look for dogs and cats. And I look for eyes that have got something special. But however, look at these. These have the little, just little dots. Okay. So this is used and sold. So no other filter here. So just scrolling through some of these are just random accessories and other pieces. So say I already sold the cool dogs that I had, but I had like some extras left over. I might lot them up like that. So, um, but I have sold a Dash Hound. Gosh, I think I sold a Dash Hound for $40 for Dachshund, however you say it. Um, but it looked a little watermelon. That's all for 20 Okay, so here's one. You can see it's got the little flowers or stars in its eyes. So some of those tend to do a little bit better as well. Okay, so let's dive over into a little bit more on the Littlest Pet Shop. Let me zoom this up here. And I did little LPS's Littlest Pet Shop um, dog. So there was one that kept showing up a lot, and that was a Collie. So if you see a Collie one, Collies kind of look like this. Um, that one sold for $42. And there are a few other Collies, like that's a brown on brown, rare Mocha Collie. Here's a different Collie that sold for $30, $29.50 that is. You know, but as you see, like Cocker Spaniel for $15. If you pick it up for a quarter at a garage sale, that's awesome to me. Um, here's a lot of them. Oh, random five pieces, so I guess you get what they what they send you. Anywho, a lot of, of 10 of them sold for $28. So yeah, there are many, many different dogs out there. Yeah, I sold a Dachshund one, but I, the one I sold was 40 bucks. And I, eBay just doesn't, I'll have to go back through my sold, my um, old sold videos to find out which one it was. Okay, so yeah, if you look for nothing else, when you see Littlest Pet Shop, see if you see any dogs, because those tend to go a little bit better, dogs than cats than uh, some of the other animals that are out there. But like I said, if you find a big bag of them and they just like, oh, take the whole bag for five bucks, that might be worth it as well. So here's some little husky dog. Okay, so that's it. Um, number two is Littlest Pet Shop. Number three, we actually saw one of these out at a garage sale and he would not sell it to me. I'm like, why do you have this out here? You need to take this back inside. I don't see them a whole lot. Um, they're waterfall ring toss games, and I'm not talking about this antique clown. I am talking about this. So this vintage Tomy waterfall, um, you know, the, the games when you're a kid, you didn't have a handheld device if you're my age. It was these little games that you're pressing the button and then the water, you know, you're trying to get the rings to hook on onto the little, <laughs> what are they called, pegs or something. So these have sold... You know, $24.50, $26. So this guy at this garage sale had one out. And he had and my kids started picking it up and playing with it. And I was playing with it. And then he decided he didn't want to sell it. So I was just like, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> We're out of here. So here you see many different ones. Now I'm gonna show you that they're not all ring toss games are built the same, but you know, the water ones. Um, but there are still quite a few. They do make some newer ones, but they don't sell as well. But they still kind of sell some of them. So let's take a look. So here's Waterfall Ring Toss Game. Did I do more? Oh, I did more. Okay. Uh, so these are still, like, Tomy is this one, is the brand for that one. Oh, here's one that's got these little triangles. That's awesome. All right. Anyway, moving on. So here I just did a, red, a regular water ring toss game, not the Tomy one. Um, so, like, if they're more new, like these ones, that was five bucks. These are sold, right? I don't think these are sold. Hang on. Do I have a sold listing over here? Hang on. Uh, here we go. Sold. Let me go back because I, I had that really um, narrowed down. So I'm going to come down to sold. Oh, these are sold. Okay. So these are sold, but as you can see, some of these that are more cheapy, newer ones don't sell for as well. But this one is kind of like a cylinder one. Um, that's sold for $13.20. And this yo Ya one... So you might, I mean, like this type, my kids have one of these. They still play with it, but I mean, I'm not going to pick it up to resell for $3. I am looking, like here's another one. This little water game, like vintage style, 20 bucks. And I wish I saw more of them, honestly. But like, yeah, I guess this one, no, that's not as good. Oh, this one's cool. I didn't see this one. This is a Paw Patrol one. That's all for $16. 
Okay, moving on. I keep hoping to find something better. Okay, so here I, I narrowed it, um, the search between eight and thirty-five dollars, so that we could get a better idea of what else. Oh, that's oh, this is like a a water game, but it's also a like a snow globe. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I think you get the idea. So if you see some of those older ones in particular of these water games, then they can sell for you know, 20 bucks or so. I wish I saw them more. Again, I'll just put that right out there. <laughs> All right, so next up, the fourth item on my list are vintage Fisher-Price. And what I mean, oh, there we go. Um, vintage Fisher-Price Little People. And those are the ones that look like this, that have, you know, like the round body and they're little, almost like little pegs that would set into the into cars or into little swing sets. Again, this is that buying back your childhood, right? Right here. Taking a look, let's see what my search was. I searched used and sold, so I don't have this narrowed by price or anything like that. And there are people like this, um, is a little coffee table. People are trying to complete a set, right? So um, they're, they're looking or waiting around for one piece that they're trying to buy. I know 275 is not a, a lot, but just to keep that in mind that there are people looking for specific pieces. So here's a lot of 10 of these or eight of these little guys, um, different um, buildings that they make. Some of them go for a little bit less than others. Oh my gosh, I remember this carousel or merry-go-round, whatever you want to call that, um, for the little people. So just scrolling through, Robin Hood looks like he did okay. Good job, Robin Hood. The bus, the, the uh, little people bus, the king and queen. Um, <clears throat> I mean, then just the random guys, these three sold for $6.99. That was on auction, though. I always take that with a grain of salt. It looks like Sesame Street does okay. So, and for me, that's, if I pick up Ernie for a quarter and sell him for nine bucks, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, so I think you get the idea with those. Oh my gosh, I remember this castle. We had this castle. Where is it? Probably destroyed somewhere. All right, so there's that. I mean, look at these manky old beds. <laughs> those two beds sold for almost $10. All right, so there's that. But then also, so the next thing is the newer Fisher Price Little People. And those ones look more cartoony. They're like this, these little princess ones. So these ones can also sell. And I'm just gonna put this right out here. Almost anything that has to do with kids and nativity does pretty well. So like the little, the Fisher Price nativity, if there's a Lego nativity, I mean, anything kid related that is like a toy that's a nativity set, from what I have experienced, seems to do fair. All right, so scrolling back up, let me hit my little arrow over here so we can see what filters I put on here. Fisher Price Little People used and sold are the filters. So I took out the vintage, that's what it was. Oh yeah, and the Thanksgiving one. So Pilgrims, Native Americans, this little set sold for 20 bucks. Um, if they're just random characters that aren't, say like Noah's Ark or the Nativity or one of the princesses, if it's just like random little boy, it might not do quite as well. It seems to be specific characters and specific like times of year, holidays, that kind of thing. Um, so here is Wonder Woman, Invisible Jet. I'm surprised that sold for so little, but good to know. Moving on. So this is uh, Little People Farm. That sold for $16.99. Again, here we've got the Nativity for $24. We had this like far. I remember having that windmill. All right, so here's a little nur oh that's an old one, the little nursery set. Okay, so there's that, and I'm scrolling through. I did I did a little more research. Apparently, I clicked away, but the animals not quite as much. I should have narrowed this down a little bit more. Here's a whole little pr uh, little princess set for those ones. So if you see them, pick them up, give them a little search, and see if the one that you've got in front of you is also worth picking up. The far, like if you find the whole farm, that seems to be doing well too. There's that nativity again. All right, so the next toy I want you to be on the lookout for are Melissa and Doug toys. This may be something you already have on your radar. Generally, Melissa and Doug toys are wooden. Um, this is my filter over $15 and sold. So some of these are new. Chances are more likely you're gonna find 
used ones. But this hammer pounding toy, even if it's not Melissa and Doug, I have found can sell pretty well. Um, one of those, you know, somebody wants to buy one for their grandkid like they had. Let's select used because chances are more likely we're going to find used ones. See this type of the mallet and hammer peg toy. Uh, those ones I found can do pretty well. The barn, now these are getting a little bit bigger. I know I said small toys on this, but there are some small Melissa and Doug. I think it's the wood, the, you know, that people are kind of going back to that. They have been for a little while. So the barn, we had this barn. Boy, what did I do with all these toys? Um, here's a little train, sold for $16.99. These are some castle figures for Melissa and Doug. They're wooden figures as well. Let me zoom in so you can see. So those little castle figures that would go with the castle. Yeah, people are really, really enjoying. Oh, maybe that's, maybe we had both of them because we had that too. All right, the, anything with these latches and locks and the kids, you know, can play with the different ways doors open and close seems to be pretty popular as well. So be on the lookout for some of these Melissa and Doug toys. Some of the puzzles, I guess, could do okay, but I guess it depends on, I mean, because you're looking at, four puzzles for 25 bucks you're having to lot them up and that would depend one on quality of the puzzle because you know they can be pretty banged up and then you know you've got to ship four of them so yeah so here's a lacing bear that one's pretty cool and I'm gonna go take off the filter just so we can see because I think I have a price filter in there over 15. Let's click that out up, or maybe ones that are not as valuable. Um, so here, like ABC t um, puzzle, kind of meh. And then here is a number maze. This little block set, the sound block. But this one's pretty, you know, knocked about. So if you found one of those that maybe wasn't, and I'm surprised the lacing shoe um, is did, this one didn't sell for as well because I know a lot of teachers who love having them in their classroom to help teach their students how to tie their shoes. The dress-up set didn't look like it did quite as well. Some of these little beading sets, crafty sets. So more like the physical toys that they would play, play with, right? Let's see. I think that could have done better. <laughs> who am I to judge though, right? Um, okay, so there's that. Melissa and Doug toys. And so the next thing, these are ones that my kids still have, and these are magnetiles. So magnetiles are these like clear or translucent plastic um, shapes, and they're all lined along the edge with magnets. And they look like this. You can make castles. I mean, there are so many now. We, we don't have, there's ones that glow in the dark. There, I mean, there's a ton of different ones. But we, like, we don't have wheels and all that fun stuff. We just have basic shapes. But my kids, they won't turn loose of them. And they are so expensive new. So expensive. So here's, like, kind of what we've got, only we have no wheels. So here's a magnetile lot. 46 pieces is sold for $59.95. So... And there are other brands, too, other than Magnetile. So if you find ones that are a different brand, they might do just as well. So let me see what I've got it set to up here. I, I have to be honest, I don't see these out very often because if I, I think I've found them out one other time and I bought them for my kids because I know I bought a huge box like this new for them and the store was like almost 100 bucks. So that's about right. It was, but they play with it almost every single day. So I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Okay. Well, I was looking at my, okay. I just have sold on here. So let's go click used and see how that does. Cause chances are you'll find them like in a box used or something at a garage sale. So used pre-owned. This one is 70 bucks. Here's 31 pieces sold for $13. I mean, they don't even have the box. That's fine. We don't have the box anymore. Shoot. Um, we just have so here's a bunch for 89. These are used, you know. Here's 22 loose pieces sold for 13.50 on auction. 74 pieces sold for 48. Man, I gotta come on here and buy some magnetiles. 33 for just I'm looking for ones without the box because chances are you're gonna find it. Cause we didn't keep the box, we just threw them in a tub. Um, so here's 74 of them. 75 bucks free shipping. So be on the lookout for magnetiles. This is kind of what we've got over here, only we don't have that. Wow, they would enjoy those, wouldn't they? 
These look like ones that are transparent, not transparent, but opaque. I haven't seen those. I wonder if those are older. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so next up after the magnetiles are the Tamagotchi, which I don't see as often as I would like. So Tamagotchi are these little virtual pets, you know, like V-pets. So again, this is kind of like people are buying back their childhood. This was a little bit later than me. We didn't have Tamagotchi when I was, you know, that age. It started a little bit later. Uh, but people are looking to buy back that memory. And there are new ones out there. But if you can find the older ones, <clears throat> then that can be lucrative, you know. Because it might be, like I say, just it's this little on a keychain sort of deal. And it might be in the bottom of a box that, you know, mom's dragged out of the attic and is like, just get rid of this stuff, right? And it's just down in the bottom of the box. And you pick it up. She's like, oh, give me a quarter for that, right? This is my dream. Do you guys have the, the garage sale dream where they're, like, cutting you deals on, on stuff that you <laughs> want to buy? Okay, so this is just sold listings. Let's go to used so we can get a better idea of what we might find. And I think, there we go. So here's this one, Shell Cameo. It's got this little antenna kind of deal poking out. And then, again, some of these are just little egg-shaped. It's a virtual pet. You have to, like, feed it. And I don't know. I never had one. But, like I say, keep an eye out for these Tamagotchi. And if I'm saying that wrong, apologies if this was your, if this was your thing growing up. Nano baby. It's got a little screen, some buttons. If you're older, if you're older than me or older like me, it might be something that you're not completely familiar with, but pick it up, push the buttons, see if it works, put a battery in it, and and go sell it and make a lot of money. <laughs> okay, next thing, I kind of went back and forth about, um, because there are some reproduction ones, but the next thing are cowboys and Indians. Let me scroll back up. Um, we get army men, little army men all the time, but every now and then we'll find the cowboys and Indians. And I think it's because they, it's not PC anymore. You don't find them quite as much. I found a, a little pail of them and I was going to sell them, but my kids took them. So they've been playing with them for right now. So I'll sell them eventually. So these are sold, and I'll flip out. Of, I have it narrowed down to $15 to $35, but I'll take that off in just a second. So multicolor play sets. Some of these have like the covered wagon and things like that that sold for $25. Brand new, though. I'm going to have to do used. Uh, but this one, vintage Louis Marx Cowboys and in Indians. They're kind of like brown, so definitely look for those because I saw that a couple times. These kind of monochromatic ones that are brown, not red, and primary type colors. So there's those. Vintage lot of 36. Man, I had a pail of them too. And this one's got some horses and stuff. Oh, those have the, the, in, the they're called Indians on here, okay, that ride the horses. It says they're Bakelite plastic. They would sell for way more than that. I don't think those are Bakelite. But, you know, whatever, not my listing. Uh, okay, moving on. So as you can see, if you find a, a pail of them at an estate sale for a few bucks, it might be worth picking those up. But let's go back up and, and scroll out of that or take off this so you can see maybe what doesn't sell as much or not for as much. So there are some, remember that was for, I had it narrowed down to 15 to 35, so this is just everything. So some of them are still selling for 12 bucks. And again, you just have to decide like what's adequate for you. Like, oh, that's not, not worth it for me to sell it for 12 bucks. For me, it is. If I pick up a pail of these for a dollar and I can flip them and make a $10 profit, I'm happy with that. So everybody has a different, again, price range or business model. No judgment. Right. Okay. So this one is awfully, I'm surprised they went so low with that. So I'm not sure why. I think they could have gotten more. But again, some people are, they just want to flip it quick. Flip it quick. Move on, right? Okay. So next up, that drum is awesome. Going on, going on. Again, my kids have those. I can't get them away from them. They play with them. As we are making this video, my kids are playing with little army men like this. Okay. They're coming back, y'all. Okay. Lastly, now y'all have to answer this question for me. The last thing on my list for today is Scooby-Doo. Um, 
this is, you know, Scooby-Doo. Again, people buying back their childhood. I, it took me a minute to get a Scooby-Doo search going because watch, let me open a new tab here. When I type in Scooby-Doo, all kinds of nonsense pops up. I had to do Scooby-Doo collectibles because if I just did Scooby-Doo toys, look, like everything under the sun pops up. You know, Peppa Pig and, I mean, what is all this? I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Oh, look, I actually pulled up some Scooby-Doo. But when I was looking at solds, maybe y'all know and y'all can tell me, oh, it's the brand. Look, Scooby-Doo toys. Why, why is all this other stuff popping up? I don't get it. Because this is what I was like, how am I going to do this? I want to talk about Scooby-Doo toys. We've got Doctor Who. We've got all this other stuff pulling up. <clears throat> so I had to do Scooby-Doo collectibles to actually get Scooby-Doo toys to pop up. All right, so this is just sorted by sold listings, not by new or used or anything else. Some Scooby-Doo toys are better than others. So this phone, obviously, oh my gosh, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? And um, there are some Scooby-Doo figurines, like he, the dog, Scooby-Doo, is on a, a skateboard. That one does really well. So here he is with a, a backpack and here he is, just he's a bank. This is a coin bank, sold for 10 bucks. This is a gumball dispenser and the mystery machine. That's their, their bus or van that they run around in. Where is the one where he's on a skateboard? Because I saw a few of them. And I was like, okay, that's one to mention. They're shaggy. Um, see, like these cars didn't do so great. But again, they're on auction, so I don't usually pay too close attention to auction. Oh, here he is. So here he is, vintage 1976, Scooby-Doo riding a yellow skateboard, Hanna-Barbera. So I saw a number of those for <clears throat> a good amount. I really did. Now it's not showing up. <laughs> um, so yeah, keep an eye out. Here's a vintage uh, sheet set or a comforter and skirt pillowcase, 1050. I saw some other ones, y'all. I did. I scrolled for a while. Okay. <laughs> So vintage Scooby-Doo stuff can sell. There's a mug. We're working on mugs lately. Digging around, finding more mugs. There he is. Okay. I was like, I know I saw some more. So here he is again, around that $33 mark. Looks like the same one. I wonder if they had a bunch of them. So yeah, they must have had a bunch. Sold a bunch of them. Okay. So that is that. Those are my first set of 10 small toys that you can flip on eBay for a profit. I have my list coming for the next one but if you saw anything that you wanted to make sure got on the list leave a comment down below or if you wanted to help narrow down some of these searches that we talked about today then make sure you leave a comment in the in the comment section and we will see you on the next one thanks for watching everybody bye bye